guys, I'm doing an overnight camping trip out here in the mountains. Snow's all gone, and there's a lake just behind these trees that is all thawed out and ready to fish. But before we do any fishing today, we gotta get camp set up. I brought a tent this time. Usually I just sleep in the back of my truck, but today I thought I'm gonna give a, tr a tent a try. It's been a while since I've actually done camping in a tent. So like I said, I haven't set up a tent in a long time. In fact, the last time I did was probably back in Scouts. Well, I guess we can put on this rain fly, keep the rain and the sunshine out. So guys, funny story about this little sleeping pad I got here. I was up at this lake one day and this guy just drives up to me and says, hey, do you do a lot of camping? I said, yeah. He said, do you want the sleeping pad? Brand new, I don't want it. I said, sure, I've been using it ever since. This is gonna be a nice change up from truck camping. Just sleep, usually I just sleep in the back of the truck, but there's something about tent camping, you know? All right, folks, we have the tent set up. I don't wanna go fishing just yet because it's windy, there's not a cloud in the sky, and that's not good for fishing. So for now, I'm gonna make a little fire, cook up some food, wait for the conditions to get a little bit better, and do some fishing. So the scary thing about this is I didn't bring any kind of propane stove set up. So we're relying completely on fire to cook our food this trip. So we got here some like uh, bark, really, really dry bark. That should light up pretty easy. This is not going to be very easy in the wind. Ooh. Keep the wind out. Found some old branches off a cedar tree. That might help. So I think I'm gonna cook up some bacon and eggs. These were supposed to be my breakfast, but I don't know. I'm just kind of craving some bacon and eggs right now. And for breakfast, we're just gonna have to figure that out. Crispy bacon, that's about how you want it right there. You know what this means? I think we're gonna have fish for breakfast tomorrow, which um, isn't at the top of my list. Coming down to the lake here. Whew. Well, the water's looking a little murkier than usual, folks. And that's no surprise. In the springtime, when you get a lot of a lot of runoff, it's gonna muddy up the water slightly. It's still pretty clear, but just not as clear as it can be. Species we're going for today, we have rainbow trout, brown trout, and cutthroat trout that reside in this reservoir. First cast of the day. Let's make it a good one. Alright folks, a little update for you. Fishing, been fishing for an hour, not a bite. So I'm actually walking up the creek. The lake is just right over there, and this is the creek that flows into it. So we're gonna do some a little exploring. 
Plus, it's probably not going to be as windy up this creek. Huh. I'm not seeing anything yet. Usually, you'll be able to see at least a few small fish scatter, but I can't see anything. Oh, shoot. Shoot. This is the worst sight to a fisherman right here. Absolutely devastating. Well, I guess that does it for a creek mission today. Barely got to fish anything at all. And I didn't see any fish anyway. Well, let's head back out to the lake. Well guys, what's happened for the past two hours? Not a thing. I've been fishing in the wind and I have not got a bite. Fishing is just totally dead. But it's starting to calm down and I've broken out the worms. Now I'd prefer not to use worms, but on a day like this, when you fish for like a total of three or more hours and don't even get a bite, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. By the way guys, if you're looking for some night crawlers, I recommend these dancing rascals that you can get at Walmart. There's like 30 of them in here and you don't have to refrigerate them, or at least you're probably supposed to, but I've let them sit out in a hot car and they still don't die. And now I got this rigged, I got a little clear plastic bubble filled halfway with water, so it'll still float, but it's still got enough weight to stay in the same spot. With two split shots on either end to keep it from moving around, with about a, I don't know, three foot leader down to that worm. I'm just gonna throw it out there, let it sit on top. Hopefully a trout cruises by and grabs it. Man, they have not wanted to chase anything all day. No lures, no nothing. So hopefully this night crawler will entice them into biting. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Guys, I'm getting bit. Oh my gosh. My bobber just went under. Something was playing with it. I'm sitting here tying on a lure. We're getting bit. So I was just uh, tying on another lure to throw on this other rod and my bubble just got hit. It went under and under and under. That's a good sign. Maybe they're starting to turn on. <clears throat> oh, guys, I think my bobber disappeared. Yeah, I got a fish on, I got a fish on, I got a fish on. Oh no, you've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, we gotta get back out there. Oh gosh. Okay, fish are starting to jump out there and I had a fish on. The thing is, I let him eat it for like 30 seconds and he still got off. All right. No, 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 we lost a worm. Ah, one down. Seems like they're coming out to play. I've already seen two jump and had a fish hooked there for a second. So I'm gonna toss around the old Rapala on this second rod I got. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Third cast with the Rapala at least, you know, Man, oh, guys, flip them up here. We're keeping everything we catch, at least tonight, because we need food. Check that sucker out, guys. It has been a tough day of fishing, pretty non-existent day of fishing, but here we go. We're hitting the evening bite, and we got us a beautiful, beautiful rainbow. We're gonna cook them up for uh, breakfast or lunch tomorrow, we'll see. Take them over here. We're gonna dispatch him. All right, we'll just set this guy right there for now. And we gotta keep fishing. Sometimes there's a very small bite window and you really gotta take advantage of it. So as soon as I catch a fish, the wind starts picking up again. Classic. Well guys, just ending the day. Only caught one fish the whole entire day. That's a bummer, but at least, at least we have something. But I'm gonna get a good night's sleep, get out there as early as I can in the morning, hopefully catch some more fish. But I'm tired, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you guys for watching day one. Good night.
man, the lake is glass this morning. This would be a good time to be out fishing. Man, it's a beautiful day. Not one bit of wind. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but for now it's nice. So this here is a little uh, water filtration device I got. A viewer actually gave this to me when we went out fishing. Let's try it out. I've never used a water filter before, but I decided uh, I'd give it a try on this trip. Fill it with some water. And you want to screw the top back on, just like that. And uh, I guess it's just good to drink now. Tastes like water. I sure hope it's filtering out properly. This wouldn't be the best water to be drinking just like it is. Well, looks clean to me. Definitely gonna be using this on my camping trips. Instead of like packing a bunch of water bottles, just take this along and as long as you're by a body of water, you got fresh water. Sweet. Fish on, fish on, yes, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fish on, I was just casting from the top of this big boulder right here. We got a nice little fish, yes, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna flip him up, oh, he's barely hooked, barely hooked, yes, yes. Nice little rainbow. So I've been fishing for about an hour with no luck. Finally hooked up on this little guy. It's funny because this reservoir has a lot of brown trout, a lot of wild browns and a lot of cutthroat, but I've only ever caught rainbows out of here. It's so weird. I've seen other people catch other species, but for me, it's always just rainbows. <sighs> Ooh, that feels good guys. I was beginning to think I was gonna have to switch lakes because there was absolutely nothing going on here. That's good to know that they are biting. At least there's some biting. So uh, let's see if we can get another one. Another one guys, here we go. I just turned the camera off for a minute and hooked into another one. Just another small rainbow, nothing special. Looks like he's got a little gash on his side there. We're gonna let this one go. one guys this is a nice fish no 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 oh my gosh I oh that was a big one that did not feel like a rainbow <sighs> that was probably a nice brown shoot fish on oh my gosh you've got to be kidding me all right well I've had two fish get off one really nice one another one right there oh man the bites are few and far between man dang it Well, we had a pretty tough morning of fishing. Had uh, three get off and I only landed two. Now I'm gonna cook up a little uh, lunch. I'm gonna try to cook up something I never have, at least outdoors. So this should be interesting. First thing we're gonna do is boil up some water. Some water from our little filtration device here. Fresh lake water. We're gonna try to make up some spaghetti. Never tried this. There you go. Cooking on an open fire is always tough. 
Gotta keep feeding the flame. And if it goes out, you gotta start all over again. Ooh. Set this off to the side. Set another pan on. Throw a little oil in. And in this one we're going to cook up a little premium sausage that we're going to mix in with the uh, tomato sauce. If you guys don't mix sausage with your tomato sauce, you're doing it wrong. We have our tomato sauce here. We're just gonna pour right in with it. This is probably one of the fanciest meals I've ever cooked outside. Nice and hot, straight off the, straight off the fire. I will say cooking, cooking fish over a fire is one thing, but cooking noodles, that's kind of difficult. You gotta make sure the temperature or the heat or the flame stays about the same uh, temperature. It's just there's some things that are harder to cook over fire than others. And I do got to say, I'm pretty proud of myself with how this turned out. Mmm. Forgot the most important thing. We have some sourdough bread here. Let me tell you. Setting it up was a whole lot easier than taking it down. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna head out of here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.